businesses. Information is at midamericanenergy.com. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The Iowa Lottery. Since 1985, proceeds totaling more than $1.7 billion have helped make Iowa a better place to live, work, and raise a family. More information is available at IALottery.com. At EMC, we're committed to improving the communities we serve and the schools within them by donating our time, money, and resources, and by supporting the education of those pursuing a career in the insurance industry. Count on EMC. Welcome, everyone. It's that wonderful time of year again where the 2017 Iowa State Fair Parade kicks off the awesome Iowa State Fair. I'm Bill Riley. And I'm Charity Nebbe. It is an exciting start to 11 days of the Iowa State Fair. Fair food, fun, thrills, nothing compares to the Iowa State Fair, which is both a true statement, <laughs> but also, of course, the theme of the 2017 Iowa State Fair. That's right. And this year, Iowa Public Television brings you the 2017 Iowa State Fair Parade live from the corner of East 4th and Locust. We're right in front of the Life Serve Blood Center, and we want to thank everybody at Life Serve for allowing public television to set up our base camp as we bring you coverage of the awesome 2017 Iowa State Fair Parade. It's going to be a fun evening, and joining our broadcasting team is IPTV's Abby Brown. She has been meandering around the staging grounds up at the Iowa State Capitol. Hey guys, the excitement is building in the staging area for the parade. I'm going to be bringing you interviews throughout the night from behind the scenes of this great tradition. Time to get set for the 2017 Iowa State Fair Parade. Here we go. Starting the parade in the traditional way, of course, the Des Moines police escort right there at the front of the parade. Only one way to start a parade, and that's it. Absolutely. And I love that uh, we've got representatives from around the state as we have yes. uh, different color guards, the Iowa State Patrol color guard from Cedar Falls joining. So proud of these folks. Thank them for their service. Absolutely. We've also moving on to a different, <laughs> different part. Equally as important, it's Fairfield and Rosetta. They're the mascots <laughs> for the fair. Absolutely. Now, uh, Fairfield born back in 2002. He was lonely. Yep. So Rosetta came along yep. in two, 2004. Two blue ribbons. Now, here's an interesting fact that uh, the fair used to have a mascot named Colonel Corn. Yes. Back in the 80s. Yes. But he tragically disappeared without a trace in the 1980s. Colonel Corn missing in action. Never to be found. Fascinating. Are we, are we still looking? I we hope could we're ask still Fairfield and Rosetta, but they don't talk. They don't talk at all, but they do dance, right? They, they do. They have the dance club at the Bill Riley Talent Show every day. Excellent. All right. Now we've got the. Dowling Catholic High School Vanguard here. Director Stephen Holland, his 26th year as yeah. director. Yeah, fantastic band. Stephen Holland is a wonderful guy. I've, I've known him for years. And Charity, you would like this. He is an excellent chef. Oh, wonderful. Yes, he's an excellent chef. Multi-talented individual. Yes. Just all the hours that go into this. get to march in shorts and t-shirts instead of in their uniforms. I think that, that's a huge step forward. You're not progress. reflecting back on when I you am. were in the marching. I'm thinking back. Yeah. It was hot.
Here come the folk, folks that make it happen. This is the Iowa State Fair Board and Secretary, Manager, and CEO. I think Gary Slater's on the float. All right, we've got uh, the Fair Board is made up of the Governor, Secretary of Agriculture and Land Stewardship, the President of Iowa State University, represented by the Interim President right now, two directors from each of six geographic districts. These are the folks that make it happen, like I said, and uh, they, they work all year long. Um, planning, making sure everything happens at the state fair, but they're also representing the folks in their districts and their county fairs. These folks try to get to all the county fairs in their area. Wow, there's the Iowa State Fair Queen, there Amanda she Rineker. She's a student at Warburg College, a neuroscience major with plans to become an occupational therapist from Buchanan County. 2016 Iowa State Fair Queen, one of the very best. They're all wonderful. <laughs> Oh, and here we have the 2017 <laughs> Iowa State Fair Queen contestants chanting the lyrics to that classic song from State Fair, the musical. There's 103 queens this year, Charity. Wow. Out of a possible 104. And I know there's 99 counties. It's a yeah. long story. Okay. Some counties have two fairs. Okay. Or more. <laughs> Sometimes one fair just can't contain it. That's right. The Queen Coronation, of course, is coming up on Saturday, August 12th. Yep, on the Ann and Bill Riley stage. Join us if you can. One of the greatest traditions at the Iowa State Fair, by far. The crowning of the Queen of the tremendous Iowa State Fair. A lot of great smiles, a lot of great energy. Cream of the crop, there. ladies and gentlemen. That's the future of our state. I had the opportunity to meet with them earlier today, and they're all spectacular. Here are some of the Iowa State Fair information volunteers. Now, the Iowa State Fair is such a tremendous undertaking, and I think a lot of people don't know how many volunteers yeah. actually are needed to exactly. make it work. Around 1,600 in this group alone, they work at the information booths, Amazing. helping fairgoers get around. Some of them have volunteered for almost 25 years. Wow, that is amazing. Started. You know, we're, just... we're speaking about the fair board, the people that make things work. These people also, man, they are there every day helping fairgoers find their way around our great state fair. <laughs> That's my good friend, Mr. Tom Breen, and he's representing the Blue Ribbon Foundation and uh, that beautiful old Cadillac. That's great. And of course, they're they're raising funds to help preserve and improve the fairgrounds. Exactly. Which I mean, that's a that's a lot of infrastructure. Exactly. That goes into to putting on this fair, and of course, events throughout yep. the year as well. They are celebrating 25 years this year. We've got a new book and a special birthday cake. Fair Square, very important. Okay, here's Kids Fit now. Uh, this is the Bill Riley Talent Hi. Show entry. Yeah, but Bill Riley's not even up there. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's because they're too healthy. I couldn't do what they're doing out there. That's Dara Driftmeyer, and Mackenzie Reed is her partner. Now, this is a new kids program kicked off by Hyvie, and we're thrilled to be partnered up with them. They're on stage with us every day at the oh, Bill Riley awesome. Talent Search. That's yeah. great. That's yeah, join great. us. Join us if you can. And of course, you've been traveling around all summer to the. Uh, I have the county fair. The summer circuit. Wow, getting ready. <laughs> All right, here we've got the Iowa Youth Chorus, singers from the Iowa Youth Chorus and actors performing The Rhyming Princess on mm -hmm. August 12th at 1.30 and 7 at the Iowa State Fair. Some great costumes out there. That's a lot of fun. Oh, and here's a wonderful group of veterans riding in the fair from Winterset, the Iowa Placoderm Submarine Base. Very interesting. When we were prepping for our live show, we were looking this up. And this is this is a lot of history here, ladies and gentlemen. And we're so honored to have these veterans with us. And again, we thank them for their service to our great country. Towing a, and there's the submarine. a submarine. The USS George Washington Carver. Wow. That is so fun. All right, 
right, the East High Marching Scarlets are here. Here we go. Taking this care of business <laughs> out here at the Iowa State Fair Parade. This is a tremendous program out of East High. And I will mention uh, East High School in Des Moines has one of the most successful alumni associations. Uh, just an amazing amount of support from past uh, attendees from East High. Reflected here as we're watching these tremendous young musicians. Great fun. Absolutely. That certainly speaks volumes about the school. I think I spy <laughs> IPTV coming up hey, there. Hey, There's hey. Dan Wardell <laughs> and Abby Brown. He's so bashful. Can he keep that energy up for the whole parade? <laughs> you marched with him, didn't oh, you? Oh, I did. And it's uh, Ann Clifford, the big red dog. And my pride has never recovered. I, I was just, after Clifford went by, the kids just, they had no interest in some old guy. <laughs> walking down the street. Well, so uh, here's something that parents may wonder about Dan Wardell. He is not a coffee drinker. You're, oh my goodness. Can't, if, if we that is just genuine energy, <laughs> genuine energy. Can you imagine that guy on a little caffeine? Oh my goodness. Well, and it's been so fun with the IPTV Kids Clubhouse oh. taking on a new dimension yeah. with the IPTV Kids Clubhouse show. The so great to bring Abby Brown into it. Beautiful really new exciting. set. Just beautiful. Now, of course, if you can't make it to the fair, we have you covered at IPTV for the 47th year. We're showcasing the best of the Iowa State Fair. You can turn in every night next week, Monday through Saturday, at 9 or 10.30, and you get to see the fair like you won't see it anywhere else, right here on statewide Iowa public television. Earlier, IPTV's Abby Brown spoke with the Iowa State Fair marketing director, Mindy Williamson. Mindy, what is new at the fair this year? We have a ton of new things. We have our old things that everyone loves to see, but we have a new butter cow. We have Laura Ingalls Wilder with her. We have Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. We have new thrill rides. There's a ton of new stuff for everybody to see at the Iowa State Fair. That sounds amazing. Now, whether it's your first time at the fair or you've been here a million times before, what's the one thing not to miss? Well, this year in 2017 are the thrill parks. So we have done a major renovation to three different areas. There's a place for teenagers, place for little kids. There's a place for those who want super thrilling rides. So don't miss that. That sounds awesome. Thank you, Mindy. And we will be back with more Iowa State Fair parade fun in just a moment. traditions at the State Fair is something our IPTV production crews always look forward to. The Iowa State Fair Queen hails from Buchanan County, Amanda Reneker. From the excitement of the State Fair Queen contest to the majesty of the Cowgirl Queen competition, we'll celebrate some awesome State Fair legacies in our nightly highlight shows. He weighs 1,017 pounds. On our first night of highlight shows, we'll showcase the big animals. <laughs> Tuesday night's episode offers a time to catch a glimpse of hard-working FFA kids in the Parade of Champions. Butter sculptor Sarah Pratt will visit with Paul Yeager and share her 2017 creations on Wednesday's show. We'll pay tribute to our heroes with coverage of the Veterans Parade in Thursday night's show. Our egg traditions will be celebrated in Friday night's episode with the 4-H Grand Champion Steer Show. We're going down to the and a story that's become a must-see tradition in our coverage over the last few years, mutton busting. See these brave kids in fast motion during our final night of highlights, Saturday, August 19th. 
See the State Fair like you won't see it anywhere else with six nights of hour-long coverage starting Monday right here on Iowa Public Television. the Camaro Club if you haven't already guessed and my goodness there's some new models in there the second car is like a brand new one the first one is a classic from the 60s early 70s now ranging from 1967 oh. to 2017 in this array <laughs> there's the one charity that's the one I want right there a lot of a lot of horsepower mm. I had one in high school. Did you really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Six cylinder, three, three in the tree. Wow. Yeah, it was a monster. <laughs> well, I say horsepower, but of course, uh, yeah. there's a, a lot of a lot of fuel going into this. We've got a, uh, you know, the Iowa State Fair, such an incredible undertaking. So many different elements coming together. Mm -hmm. We've got some, some facts about some of the things that go <laughs> yes, into we the do. Iowa State Fair. We do. In 2016, over 5,500 gallons of gasoline and diesel were used. Oh my goodness. In the course of the Iowa State Fair. It's amazing. Different kind of fuel. 15,000 fair squares were sold. Now you're talking. Those Rice Krispie Treats. That's my kind of of uh all right fair oh, food. speaking of food this is really disturbing i mean it's nice to see the good guys and the bad guys coming together in the 501st legion but they're roasting ewoks oh my goodness i don't know how to feel about this they've taken over the universe but it's really cute <laughs> cedar falls high school tiger marching band this is my alma mater bill yeah this i was in the marching band although we had to playing, wear our uniforms playing flute exactly right? with my plastic cowboy hat and oh, yep. these guys are terrific. Do you have any pictures of those days? I do, I do. We want to see them. You em. can't see them. <laughs> Under the direction of Kyle Inglehart and Gerald Ramsey. They're playing, of course, some selections from Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring. contribute so much to the performing arts fabric of this great state of ours. Well, it's such a, such a great opportunity well, for people to participate, too. Character building, discipline. Out there marching in the cold, yeah. <laughs> in the snow. Cedar Falls High School, actually, um, the football games are held inside the Unidome. Wow. So we didn't actually have to endure a whole lot of cold. I thought you were going to tell us she walked uphill both ways. No, no, no. We got to stay nice and warm, but the acoustics were terrible. All right. We've got the International Harvester Tractors mm -hmm. here. The IH Collectors Iowa Chapter 5 from Huxley. I love old tractors. I don't know what it is, but I could just stare at them. Well, these are so beautiful. Beautifully restored. Yeah. This is the Red Tractor Club. Right. Right. No green tractors allowed. Nope. Absolutely not. These are so, they look so festive. I can guarantee you there's a lot of hours that go into the restoration of these babies. Oh, absolutely. They're so fun to see. Mm hmm and a true high point at the Iowa State Fair because you can walk around the grounds and see these beautifully restored pieces of, of uh, agricultural history. We've got Charlene's Dance Studio from Des Moines now. Been in business 38 years. Again, another uh, appearance from Some the music of State Fair, the musical. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a popular theme in tonight's parade. I was just playing it for the kids earlier today. Getting them in the mood. Absolutely, getting ready. They thought it, that actually was the first time they heard it and they thought it was pretty funny. Wanna, Best state fair in our state. <laughs> I wanna thank Charlene, everything she's done through all the years. They've been on the Riley stage many times with their very talented youngsters and we're always thrilled to have them out there and showcase them. All right, we've got the Miss Greater Des Moines, Miss Metro Scholarship Program here. Got young ladies participating from the ages of six through the ages of 24. 
Moving on to old time portraits here. That's when we can break out that picture of you in the marching band. <laughs> How about the picture of you, uh, didn't you say wearing a onesie in one of those portraits? Bill? Yeah, that's not so good. We'll have All to, right. I'll find something else. Here's the uh, Grotesques in Des Moines, Iowa and Abroad. And this is a fascinating book, by the way. It's uh, The Grotesques are those stone carvings that you see on these older buildings in Des Moines and around the state. Yes. Some incredible worksman workmanship that went into those. The architectural really history, yeah. It's Absolutely. beautiful stuff. The Fraternal Order of Eagles, people helping people since 1901. Wow. Speaking of history. Think of all the lives they've touched through the years. Express your self-performing edge coming up here. Group of extremely energetic dancers. Yep. This is a long parade. This is a lot of work. This has got to be one of the longest parades in the state, I would imagine. They look like they're having fun out there. That looks a little dangerous, though. A hoverboard and clown shoes. <laughs> it's a little scary, isn't it? Taking on a challenge. You know, and this is so exciting, uh, Iowa Public Television's uh, covering this live this evening. And, and it's a first, ladies and gentlemen, and, and we're thrilled to bring this action to you. The official kickoff to the Iowa State Fair. All right, we've got the National American Miss Iowa Queens. So much royalty out here this beautiful, evening. Beautiful float. A lot, of, a lot of man hours in that. Yeah. Beautiful young ladies. A lot of demand for tiaras <laughs> in August. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Granny basketball here. There are, I had no idea, 26 granny basketball teams now. It's amazing. That's awesome. They won the Character Counts Award this year. Really? Yeah. Wow. Pursuing victory with honor. Oh, That's my wonderful. Goodness. Oh, they're great. Uh, we're missing, they must be playing no, horse out. down the street. They must be. Well, actually, I, I think they are out bouncing, bouncing some basketballs. You don't want to just sit around no. if you're in granny basketball. <laughs> Here we've got the Waverly Shell Rock Go Hawk Marching Band. 135 members. Wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. I mean, that's a small, small school district. That's wonderful. It is, but that is an amazing part of the state for the performing arts. Oh, absolutely. It is just a treasure. This band under the direction of Eric Stover and Jim Vowles, drumline instructor Stephen Clausen, color guard instructor Melissa Kramer. Hey, and they even traveled to Florida last year and participated in the halftime for the Outback Bowl and to cheer on the Iowa Hawkeyes. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah, what a great thrill for those kids to get down there and show a little Iowa pride. It's been quite a bus ride though. I bet it was noisy. <laughs> Darn drummers, you know. <laughs> you can take the skins away from them, but they'll hide sticks and they'll tap on the back of the bus That's chairs. True. That is true. They'll drive you nuts. I like that marching action there. All right, cheerleaders now. The Des Moines East High School mm -hmm. cheerleading. 50 cheerleaders. Of course, East Side Night, always a big night at the Iowa State Fair. It has turned into an amazing evening at the fair. So much pride. It's a beautiful thing to watch. We've got the Central Iowa Model A Club now. Just look at these cars, the condition those are in. Yep. Of course, Model A Fords, 1928 through 1931. Wow. Four cylinder, 40 horsepower, three speed manuals. I guarantee you, you're busy if you're wheeling right. down Shouldn't the highway. Shouldn't somebody be driving that one? <laughs> Get back behind Hands the, on wheel. the wheel. <laughs> oh, I love this group. Yep. Here the we go. Cicerettes. Drill and drum corps. We've got boys and girls ages 7 to 18. And they're not just putting on 
terrific performances, although the obviously they are doing that. Choreography and a drum line that's out of this world. Absolutely. They also focus on building character and social skills. This is a tremendous organization. Their banner had tradition, pride, and dedication right on the front of it. That is, uh, that's well stated. Well, we were talking about being tired by the end of the program. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these, these young people are working harder than anybody else we've seen so far. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, they're just getting started. They've got to go all the way down to, to the end of Grand, to the art uh, sculpture park. I bet they're still, I bet they, when they get there, they'll still have this much energy. They're a tremendous group. Well, and obviously great athletes, too. That's oh, terrific. Without a doubt. I love watching that drum line. That's really terrific. Yeah, I love drum line. My knees hurt just watching that, but they're <laughs> awesome. All right, we've got the Save the Children Action Network out here as well. They're working to raise awareness and support for increasing investments in quality early learning and maternal and newborn health spreading an important message out here this evening. One of my favorite parts of the Iowa State Fair is showcasing the incredible talent of young Iowans. If the qualifying shows were any indicator of the level of this year's competition, you're definitely in for a real surprise with the championships. If you can't make it to the Bill Riley stage, you can watch it on uh, Iowa State Fair Talent Championships on Sunday, August 20th at 8 p.m. right here on statewide Iowa Public Television. All right, we will be there. And IPTV's Abby Brown caught up with the 2016 Iowa State Fair Queen earlier, Amanda Rinnaker. Amanda, how has being the 2016 Queen impacted your life? I mean, being the queen has impacted me in so many ways. I think I've grown personally from this experience. I've gained more leadership skills and communication skills. And then I've made so many connections with so many people across the state of Iowa. Traveling to 42 different counties, I've met tons of people. And I've just really loved seeing the state. And every part of it is special. And that was awesome to hear what people had to say about it. Wonderful. Now, there's 103 girls getting ready to be the next queen. Uh -huh. What advice do you have for them? Yeah, so a lot of the girls will come up to me and ask what advice I give them. And honestly, I just tell them to be themselves. Like the judges are truly really down to earth and great people and they just want to get to know the girls' personality. So I just try and tell them to kind of forget about the competition and just let your personality show through, for sure. Excellent advice. Thank you so much, yeah, Amanda. Thank Thank you, Abby, and there is so much more Iowa State <laughs> Fair parade fun yet to come. We will be back in just a moment. Watching the nightly State Fair highlight show on Iowa Public Television is a tried and true way to spend time with your family. This year, we're covering some contests that will definitely make you smile. Um, nobody can tell us apart. Tune in Monday night to see double and even triple at the Twins, Triplets, and More contest. And Mark Pearson covered it for us in the 90s. This time, we're letting Mike Pearson try his hand at the Weed Identification Contest on Tuesday night. It's all about strength and determination in the Monster Arm Wrestling Tournament. We'll muscle through the highlights on Wednesday night. We'll check out what's cooking in Thursday night's coverage of the cookout contest. Yum! Some fast talkers will blast into your living rooms Friday night with the auctioneer's contest. Knock, knock. Who's there? Impatient chicken. Impatient chicken. And who can resist kids telling jokes? That will be in our last night of highlights, Saturday, August 19th. See the State Fair like you won't see it anywhere else with six nights of hour-long coverage starting Monday right here on Iowa Public Television. All right, we are back with 
the Grandview Little League nine-year-old all-star champions. They are the nine-year-old District 5 champions for 2017. Batter up. Congratulations. Wow, what an honor. Nine, I loved Little League. Did you? Oh, I had so much fun. It's, and I love baseball. These are some of the <laughs> very best. <laughs> Those faces. The Dance Avenue is next. These dancers compete all over Iowa and the Midwest, competitive dancers. This is a field that's really grown just tremendously. It has. In the past decade or it so. It has. And, and we see the effects of it at the talent show. I'm sure. Uh, it's, I'm sure. It's, uh, the level of dance continues to just amaze me. Here's Miss Muscatine of 2017, Madison Lang. Beautiful young lady. Beautiful yellow dress. The floats, all of the floats are judged during the fair. Here's the, the Susan G. Komen Greater Iowa Breast Race. Cancer Group. Yep. Breast Cancer Awareness Fundraising for Breast Cancer Research. There are a number of different categories that the fair, that the, uh, the floats can fall into. Best use of fair theme, best specialty group, most creative, original, best performance, which I think is great because we've seen some incredible performances out here. Here's the Iowa Crush football team and Iowa Force basketball. So this is women's football okay. and women's basketball. Wow. <laughs> That's a great smile. Yeah. Having fun. Absolutely. The marching bands, they're also judged. We've got a whole fleet of smart cars here to exit Realty. Marching bands can win the Governor's Cup, Governor's Cup runner up, or the best drum line. Wow. Oh, here we've got another group of dancers. So much energy here with the DMI Dance Force. Now this group, they perform annually for the Harlem Glo Globetrotters Halftime Show as well as the Kansas City Chiefs Halftime Show. That's so great. It is amazing. Hailing from the south side of Des Moines. One team, one dream, one family. That's their motto. Kansas City Chiefs, two, two, two. Again, a lot of energy out there. So fun to see. Oh. Little Mike Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh. This, I love this song. Dance into Thriller. And it's so fun to dance to. I could do that. And I think you should, Phil. And then you'd have to call 911 because <laughs> something would break. Well, you got to build up to it. you got to practice. <laughs> By next year, okay. The Iowa Mothers Association. This is the 2017 Mother of the Year. What an honor. That is tremendous. Congratulations, Nancy. When you are out at the fair this year, make sure to stop by the IPTV booth. We are in the Varied Industries building. Nice air conditioned break. <laughs> you can meet the IPTV Kids Clubhouse host, Dan Wardell. He's going to be there daily from noon to 2 p.m. Abby Brown from the Kids Clubhouse will be there from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So lots of opportunities to meet them. You can get your photo taken with Clifford from 2 to 5. You can also vote for your favorite IPTV shows anytime you want. I'm voting for Iowa Ingredient. Is it, it's okay if I vote for Iowa Ingredient, too. Yeah, Maybe the shameless plug. I don't know. All right, we've also got temporary tattoos, other fun giveaways. 
Oh, Abby and Dan, they're going to be hard to compete against. I you can agree also <laughs> enter to win the grand prize drawing a 43-inch smart TV. We hope to see you there. It's going to be so much fun. And here is Abby Brown with a few words from this year's Parade Marshals, Leroy and Pat Perkins from Corridon, Iowa. It is quite an honor to be named the Marshals of the greatest parade in the state. And I know you've been involved in Ferris for a very long time, so tell me about the years that have led up to this. Well, it is a great honor, uh, really is. We've been in fair work for over 51 years. Um, I've been Saturday manager of the Wayne County Fair for uh, 40 years and was assistant 10 years before that, so that makes 51 years that I've been secondary manager. We've been working with the volunteer program at the Iowa State Fair for over 20 years and behind the scenes doing whatever needs to be done, and we just enjoy fairs. We do it as a team. And that's a wonderful part about it, I imagine. So tell me exactly what does the fair mean to you? It's hard to explain, but for us it's tradition and it's family and it's seeing all the people at the fair having a good time. <laughs> Absolutely, and I think almost anybody could agree with that. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. So fun to see the Perkins. What a, what a great yeah, couple. Yeah, what a thrill. And we're not anywhere near done. We've got so much more Iowa State Fair <laughs> parade fun to come, and we will continue in just a moment. And now, IEBN presents 28 flavors of Fair 71. Since 1971, Iowa Public Television has been bringing our viewers highlights from the Iowa State Fair, including the parade. Bill Riley Sr. was a big part of that coverage. Bill fronted our highlights show for 25 years. And remember, every day at 12 noon in the plaza area, we have the competition Duffy Lion from Toledo. And Duffy... He knew almost everyone at the fair, and everyone knew him. In the late 90s, Bill Sr. passed the hosting baton to Mark Pearson, who had been a field reporter on our fair coverage for years. But after that grueling competition, we thought it'd be nice to stop off for some homemade ice cream. Mark went on to host the nightly highlight show for 15 years. And from all of us at Iowa Public Television, I'm Mark Pearson. Thanks for watching, and I hope you had fun at the fair. When Mark passed away, television. Bill Riley Jr. took over, walking in his dad's footsteps as anchor for Iowa Public Television's nightly coverage. Bill Riley, and remember to have fun at the fair. Continuing the Riley Pearson legacy, Mike Pearson also came on board as a field reporter. I'm here with John Putney, the owner of this year's Super Bowl. For nearly 50 years, Iowa Public Television has been proud to profile the people, events, and fabric of the Iowa State Fair. And we've been honored to have the Rileys and the Pearsons on this journey with us. Tune in next week to see the State Fair like you won't see it anywhere else, with six nights of hour-long coverage starting Monday right here on Iowa Public Television. All right, we're back with St. Joseph Catholic School. What a great idea to bring the school bus. Absolutely. They've had a ready-made float. They are uh, promoting the school, of course, and the event Blue and Gold Gala, a fundraiser to improve the school and school facilities. Fabulous school just north of the fairgrounds. It was a good cartwheel there, too. My goodness. One of the oldest parishes in Des Moines, by the way. What is this? This looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Lions Club of Iowa. They brought a 10-person flexible bike. It's so good that they put training wheels on that. Can you imagine trying to balance that thing? Well, and the guys, that some, some of them aren't even pedaling. Does the guy in front know that? <laughs> you can't see. No Look, rear view mirror. Pulling the whole thing. But you know, when you're honking the horn that much, you can't always pedal. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta choose one or the other. You can't do both. What oh, fun. that's fun. That's yeah. terrific. Yeah. No, she she was able to both honk the horn and pedal. Some people can pull it off. <laughs> and here's the rest of their float. Some nice lions and a puppy dog. Mm hmm Where there's a need, there's a lion. Great organization. 
Here's the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. Volunteers from the Des Moines affiliate for the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network raising awareness. That was a nice purple feather boa there. I have one of those. Do you? Yeah. Nice. Wear it all the time. Oh, here's a Bebops with the Bacon Queen, Brenda Pettinger. Of course, Bebops, spectacular burgers. If you haven't had one, Charity, you need to get to the local Bebops. Old school. Noted. And this is, I didn't, now they have uh, Sloppy Joe sliders. That's right down my, my alley. <laughs> you, can, a, a well, you can make a note of that. Uh, and I'll wear my purple boa when I go up. <laughs> Speaking of, of boas, the fairy tale friends are here. Fairy tale friends and princess parties mm -hmm. and events. We've seen a lot of state fair, county fair royalty, but now we've got some real princesses. So if somebody's having a birthday party or something, these is that? They I can, think so. Yeah. Have the princesses. Wow. Got Anna and Elsa. Bell there. That's fun. I can think of a lot of little people that would enjoy that. Oh, yeah. All right, another dance group. Tanya Ogden's Dance FX. State Fair is such a great opportunity for so many dancers, so many performers to really get an opportunity and to be exposed to some different kinds of performance that you just may not expect or may not know about. Correct. Outdoor events. Yeah, Gee. I saw some uh, some aerial silks performance mm. at State Fair last mm -hmm. year. Very cool. Look at the smiles. <laughs> now here we've got the State Center Rose Royalty. Queen Grace Porter, Princess Eden Buck, Miss Rosebud and Mr. Rosebud. Oh. The Rose Festival is the third weekend in June every year. Beautiful. Oh, and librarians. I love librarians. Where would we be without librarians? Nowhere. Nowhere. That's where. This is the Des Moines Public Library. Gerald and Piggy up there. They always just Keep told me to keep it down. Oh, come on. <laughs> they also recommended some great books, I'll bet you. They did, but they are always <laughs> shushing me. <laughs> well, you know, libraries are actually a little louder than they used to be now. There's a lot going on at libraries. Here's the Unique Mustangs Car Club. They brought 15 Mustangs <laughs> to the parade. Oh, boy. There's some history. Yeah. The Pony Cars. This is the one that started it. So which would you rather be in, a Mustang or a Camaro? I'm a Ford guy. I, I'd opt for the Mustang. Tribe Athletics. Oh, nice. Hello. Wow. That's a nice entrance. Absolutely. Amazing. Just a, a mix of different skills being exhibited out there. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Dancing, tumbling, flying. <laughs> wow. That's exciting. Yeah. More royalty. The Miss Iowa Scholarship Program. The 2017 Miss Iowa and Miss Iowa's Outstanding Teen. Well, this one is uh, Miss Iowa herself, mm -hmm. Chelsea Dubchuk. Yep. Wonderful young lady. She was with us at the Corn Dog Kickoff, the annual fundraiser for the Blue Ribbon Foundation. The League of United Latin American Citizens. Even more royalty. That's an incredible tiara. Mm, yeah. That's great. Now, Iowa Public Television is bringing you more ways to get involved in our Iowa State Fair coverage. Of course, you can like us on Facebook and follow along for live coverage of the action. Follow us on Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. We are also on Instagram and Snapchat. We are everywhere. 
sharing behind the scenes at the fair. You can join the conversation with hashtag IPTV Fair 2017. And once again, Abby Brown is here this time with 2017 Parade Coordinator, Janet Lloyd. Janet, the parade is an enormous task. How do you pull it off? I know you rely on lots of volunteers, is that correct? We do rely on a lot of volunteers. It takes about 100 volunteers to staff all the staging lots, as well as set up barricades, take care of folks at the end of the parade and give them a drink, and make sure that our people who are watching the parade are safe and remain on the curb throughout the parade. Yes, it's a huge undertaking, and I know there's some changes this year. Um, the route has actually changed course, correct? It has. Several years ago, it would start at the Capitol and go down to Grand Ave or 10th and Grand and stop there. Before that, in the 70s, we'll say, it would turn on 4th and go up to Vets Auditorium. This year, we have a big change. Since the Grand Avenue Bridge is closed, we are now going down Walnut Street over to East 7th, up to Locust, across the river to 2nd, back up 2nd Street to Grand Avenue, and then conclude at the Sculpture Garden. And I understand the city has been a huge help for you. They are totally awesome. I can't tell you how much Sergeant Beardsley and the folks in the civil planning engineering part of the city of Des Moines have just been totally awesome to help us determine where the barricades go, what streets need to be closed. They have been just great and I know they do several hundred of these events throughout the year we do one so they were so gracious to answer all of our questions thank you so much Janet this parade an incredible undertaking and we will be back with more Iowa State Fair Parade fun in just a moment <laughs> Okay, everyone, admit it. Food is an important part of the state fair experience. We agree. Therefore, we like to give it priority status in our nightly fair highlight shows. And I do not believe I'll be able to eat this whole thing, but I think I'm gonna try. We'll send Charity Nebby out again this year to try some new fair foods. Food baking, canning, decorating, and cooking contests have been a part of our coverage for decades. You'll see a different competition covered in every night's highlight show this year. The fair has come a long way from hot dogs and lemonade. And we'll even dive into some state fair food history with Dean Borg. Tune in next week to see the state fair food like you won't see it anywhere else with foodie topics in every night's show. Starting Monday, right here on Iowa Public Television. The Roosevelt High School step team here. Great to see. I have one of the toughest jobs at the State Fair every year, trying yeah? new foods. Oh, yep. It's really if hard. If anyone can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I, I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, so I tend to, <laughs> to gravitate. But you know, it's at the State Fair. It's a great place to bring your sweet tooth. Somebody's got to do it. Charity. <laughs> I know it's a tough job. It is. Hey, this is my alma mater. This oh, is uh, a awesome. little Rider Pride here, little blue and white. Roosevelt High School. <laughs> so you were that coordinated in high school too, right? Yes. Yeah, without a doubt. That's good. That's good. Maybe again, this is something you could work on for next year. <laughs> I would like to see Bill Riley exhibit his talents as well. All right. We'll work on that. Okay. The Iowa Jeep Club is here. Number of Jeeps came to the fair this year. Wow, that one's all decked out. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. That's a lot of Jeeps. That's a lot of Jeeps. I used to own used to own a Jeep. Did you? Yeah. Well, it, apparently you owned a lot of different vehicles. I know. Bill. Yeah, I got yeah. <laughs> I like cars. All right. Well, there's a that's some Bill Riley historical trivia. We've got some great uh, fair fun facts as well. This one Okay, I did, I did a feature about this one okay. last year. But this is remarkable. How much toilet paper do you think was used at the Iowa State Fair oh in 2016? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, 
500, over 500 cases of oh toilet paper. Oh my God. If, it you, would, if you rolled those out. Yeah, it would stretch from Des Moines, Iowa to Miami, Florida. Oh my goodness. You know, They'd be we surprised were talking when we earlier get there. about all those volunteers, but also <laughs> all of the employees who have to work together to make this happen. Yeah. That kind of throws the incredible undertaking Truly. Into, into stark relief. Truly. Right there. <laughs> Here are the Shriners. You can't have a parade without Shriners, can you? Nope. It's great to see. They do such great work. And these are... For young people. This is, this is taking Shrine technology into the future. These little race cars. Uh -huh. Of course, the, the Shriners working hard. Fostering self-improvement through leadership, education. It's uh, building values and community involvement. And they've been doing it for years, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing organization. No fezes on the race cars. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's there some go. fezes. <laughs> You gotta have the iconic look. In the big stretch caddy. Absolutely. Now there's a nice full, uh, float. That's that's really well done. Oh. Sure. And strong legs run, so weak legs may watch. As trainers have done so much good Absolutely. over the years. So, Charity, I was thumbing through a few little tidbits from the fair. How many cell phones do you think were left at the fair last year? Just do I have mine? I have mine. <laughs> I have mine. No, how many? That's a terrifying. This is a cautionary tale. How many were left behind? 65 oh, cell phones. Keep track of your stuff at the fair. With 20 of them unclaimed. Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right. Call me. You know, bring a backpack. <laughs> a fanny pack is also a great idea to yep. take with you to the fair. It's not a fashion show. You can bring your fanny pack. Don't be afraid. Use what works. Lock it that's up. My advice. Leave Maybe it at home. Maybe don't bring it. Although you got to take pictures. Oh, Come that's on. true. That's so true. many pictures. You know, I think uh, my favorite thing about the fair, one of them at least, are the contests. There are so many contests and so many people get to be a part of that. I also know that so many people you know, participate in so many different contests. But there were 53 contests in 2016 with 5,697 participants. Good grief. So food contests, everything put together. Right. The potted plant, everything. The rubber chicken throwing. Wow, which is one of my favorites. Is it? And the husband calling. Have you, have you been, been working on your uh, cow and chip throwing skills? I was going to say, and don't forget, the lowly cow chip. <laughs> lowly cow Fif chip. 53 contests. That's amazing. With, that is. with close to 6,000 participants. You know, I think uh, parking, of course, at the fair is pretty much everybody's least favorite part yeah. of going to the fair. Yep. But it's also a tremendous source of revenue for the fair. I would think. Over $650,000 in parking fees Holy alone. moly. 65,154 cars were parked, and that's just official fair parking. That'll buy a few corn dogs. That's right. And of course, a lot of people make quite, quite a bit of money parking people in their yard. Yes, they do. And also, it's tremendous fundraising for uh, local organizations. And the the, uh, the shuttle service from the capital area to the fair, that's really helped out yeah, a lot. Absolutely. Yep. It uh, takes a lot of the stress out of it. Well, as we're still enjoying well, our, we've got the, yeah, our the pork fair producers coverage have, uh, yep. have arrived. There's a slice of bacon right there. My favorite thing. We also have, of course, the Iowa Pork Queen with them, Claire Conley and the Iowa Pork Youth Ambassadors. Moving on, though, there the governor makes her second appearance in the fair. She went around once, came back, and now she's walking with the Polk County Republicans. Yep, Kim our Reynolds. brand new governor. First woman to serve as governor of the state of Iowa. And starting a campaign. <laughs> yes. Clearly, there's a lot of signs. <laughs> there's so much, so much great stuff such out here fun. tonight. It's been such yep. a great time. So much to see, to hear, incredible performances. And of course, we, we can't show you absolutely everything. You've got to come out to the State Fair Parade next year. All the sights and sounds. And you got to come out to the fair. That's right.
Don't miss it. But if you do miss it, of course, you can see it all, most of it at least, on Iowa Public Television throughout our fair coverage. Follow along on social media. Be sure to watch on television. Follow our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff there for you to see. There are just so many, so many spectacles at the fair. Such a thrill to be with you, Charity. Oh, what an honor. You, and uh, kicking off the state fair in fine fashion with the parade. Absolutely. Bill Riley, thank you. Have a great, have a great fair. Thank you. Funding for Fair 2017 is brought to you by Friends, the Iowa Public Television Foundation. Mid-American Energy Company and its Energy Advantage program are dedicated to increasing the awareness of energy efficiency in Iowa's homes and businesses. Information is at midamericanenergy.com. Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The Iowa Lottery. Each year, lottery proceeds provide millions of dollars to finance state programs that benefit all Iowans. The Iowa Lottery, putting the woo-hoo in the state funding since 1985. At EMC, we're committed to improving the communities we serve and the schools within them by donating our time, money, and resources, and by supporting the education of those pursuing a career in the insurance industry. Count on EMC. 